You know, when you're a kid, getting a Major League Baseball player's autograph can be a really big deal, especially when you get to meet the player in person to ask for it. Imagine having a baseball signed by the likes of Babe Ruth or Mickey Mantle or maybe Lou Gehrig. Autographs have value on lots of levels, and here to talk about that is Brian Catechet of BCB Auctions. He is an expert in baseball memorabilia because we don't know if it's good or is it. You can spot it instantly if an autograph is real. Absolutely. Uh, one of the keys on spotting autographs that are authentic is uh, there is a instrument that's called a proscope. It's like a telescope, but it's a proscope. It's okay. called. It's uh, the same um, image as a uh, you could say a hair dryer. And what you could do is you could buy it in any uh, any electronic store, and it's got a light. Uh, fixture in the, in the in the front of the uh, the gadget, and what you do is you put it on a, for instance, uh, on this piece, you would put the proscope on the autograph, connect it to your laptop or tablet, and the autograph will magnify. Okay. And you can tell from the magnification if the signature has been originally signed. Yeah. Or is a facsimile, oh, which nice. is meaning like it was printed out a printed bunch out. of them. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, the value of something is this originally signed? That's originally signed. I only deal with original, authenticated items. Now, let me ask you a question, Brian. Are you actually going out there and meeting the celebrities and getting the autographs? Are you buy them done and then you reach sell them? How does that work? Well, because of my reputation, I've been in the business for a while. I have the luxury of doing business with a lot of the retired athletes. I can't touch the new athletes okay. because they're on contract and right. many people are dealing with you know with their merchandise but I have the luxury of dealing with the retired athletes and I do some part-time work with Major League Baseball Players Association and uh, I originally deal with them I generate revenue for the retired athletes so for instance uh, take this item this is a signed autograph bat of Dave Winfield oh Dave so, Winfield so for instance if if an athlete was to come to me a retired athlete and say they, they're interested in making extra revenue. I will take, I will negotiate a deal with them. They would sign this item, and then I would sell it for them online. Okay. Now, when I sell it for them online, it reaches millions of viewers. Yeah. And an audience of uh, generally 10 to 15 million a day on eBay. So what I do is uh, we work out a deal. Uh, I sell the item for them, their signature item, yeah. and I get a cut. And they, and get, I, a, and they you're get like a, a consigner, but you know that you're dealing with something legitimate because you literally have met the athlete. Exactly. And so the same thing, if if people have cards and maybe they want to make some money, do they bring those cards to you mm. and you can sell them on eBay for them? Exactly. So my business is also taking items on consignment. For instance, baseball cards. If people have a big collection of baseball cards and they don't want to do the work because there's a lot of work, oh, you got to yeah. be on the computer day and night. You got to scan the item. You got to write descriptions. Then you got to wait for a payment from the buyer and then you got to package the item take it to the post office and especially if you're dealing with a lot of material a lot of items it's a it's a full-time job and people don't want to deal with that especially the uh, the older uh, age people that are not internet savvy they want someone that knows the uh, Just business give me my money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I take items for them I sell them I work on a commission and I give them the rest of their, their money we're gonna take a look at Jackie Robinson right now I mean he he's got to be worth I, I don't know how much if you have an originally signed something from Jackie Robinson tell yeah. us a little bit about that well Jackie Robinson has always been a, a popular seller because you know he broke the color broke barrier, the color barrier yeah. um, I actually have an item on your left here this is a historic um, uh, image of Jackie Robinson in the minor league. Uh, he broke the color barrier in the minor league. This is a printed photo from 1946. Hmm. Okay. So he's playing f for the Montreal team, which is the minor league. He broke the color barrier in 1946. This is an image of him hitting a home run, and he's shaking hands with the coach, which is George Shuba. And this piece is signed by George Shuba at the bottom, who's deceased. Mm, that's going to be worth it. So... Uh, because of the condition of this item, mm -hmm. I would say, and it doesn't have Jackie Robinson's signature. If it had Jackie Robinson's signature, it'd be worth a couple of thousand dollars. But because of the image is historic, this piece of, and the condition, it's worth about five hundred dollars. Okay, five hundred bucks. Wow. But yeah, but an autographed Jackie Robinson item can go for a couple of thousand dollars easy. What about a Noah Sundergaard? Like you know something who's recent today? If you can get a, a you know something, are they as popular or is they worth as much? Or yeah, he's popular to the younger collectors. Um, I, I've sold some. Noah Syndergaard items. I've gotten like a hundred dollars a pop for a you know signed baseball. Um, now another thing with autographs.
autographs is if you, if you don't know the business, you want to buy um, autographs that have authentication. Okay. okay. So Major League Baseball is the number one authenticator because they deal directly with the athletes. Okay. And so th they're in the business of authenticating items currently. And All right. Each item that they sell has a serial number yeah. and a stamp that says Major League Baseball. So then you know. And with experts like you, thank you so much for shedding some Absolutely. light on this. Thanks, Thanks Brian. Happy uh, 1923 opening day of Yankee Stadium. <laughs> there you go. He knows his stuff. I know and my stuff. to see more baseball memorabilia, check out Brian's website. It's bcbauctions.com. I know you're impressed with my knowledge of baseball. Okay. Well, and